Hi folks, today I am bringing you a review or some comments really about these two shoes that are actually very similar. Um, the right, or the, my right, uh, is the Strandmuck and on the left is the Newmuck. Both of these are made by Elegantlets. And I'm going to uh, review them at the same time because they have a similar uh, construction. One is a cap toe, the other one is a, a wingtip, but, uh, and, and both of them are made by Elegantlets. The interesting thing is that both of these are online. Most of their shoes are lined, but these two are online. Uh, the green one is mine, this one belongs to a friend. So now that I had the opportunity, I figured I'd uh, review both of them together. And I'm not sure how well you can see it. Let me let me see if I can focus this. You see that it's it's not lined. What you see there is the is the uppers. That is the leather from the uppers. And it is the same thing for the uh, new muck. This one is easier to see because there is no coloring on the uh, on that leather. Uh, before I get too too much into the shoes, let me talk about these uh, color. You can usually find the new uh, sold on green or red and green uh, in some sort of combination uh, around Christmas time. So if you want a Christmassy looking uh, shoe, uh, go to the Ellie Edmonds uh, webpage and you can usually find the new mugs in, uh, in some kind of Christmas theme. And uh, with that in mind, I'm actually going to be changing the laces from the green laces that I'm wearing to these uh, Christmassy laces. And I'll put a link below to where you can get these type of laces. Okay, with that out of the way, so both of these, let me start by saying that this is very, very nice leather. This is uh, from Alec Edmonds. This is one of the better uh, leathers uh, that I that I own. And you can see that, you can tell by the very, very, uh, really hard to see creases. Um, a lot of shoes, you wear them a few times and you get these big wavy creases. Um, on these uh, pair of shoes, it's hard to see anything, and I'm not, I don't have the shoe trees here. So this is very, very good uh, quality shoe. Both of these uh, have a storm welt, and both of them are a 360 degree welt, so they're similar construction on both of them. You can see that means that it goes the the stitching goes all the way around the shoe some of them have uh, what's called a 270 degree welt which basically goes from here to the other side and then the heel is just uh, glued that gives you a more refined or elegant or dressy look uh, because they can cut these closer to the shoe instead of having these overhang uh, but Allie Edmonds is uh, known for having 360-degree uh, welt, uh, welt issues. This particular one has day-night soles. There are some good things and bad things about them. They are long-wearing. They last uh, longer than leather. However, a bad thing, uh, if you can say that is bad, um, a negative, I would think, in the way that um, Alec Edmonds constructs them is that under leather shoes, they build a channel for the stitch, but under day-night shoes, they do not. So the stitching is always sitting uh, flush with the sole, and it wears out uh, very fast. You can see how on these pair of shoes, there are several areas where the stitching is already worn out. So that is a negative because now you don't have as much strength 
in holding this. Um, so what good is it if the sole itself lasts 10 years, if these uh, wears out in a year or less? Um, so I wish I wish that they change their construction and they would start building a channel, which it can be done. If someone tells you that it cannot be done, just go to a different cobbler or a different maker um, because it can be done. Um, on the heel, uh, when you have a day night sole, they have these uh, heel uh, uh, top lift. And what I don't like about the uh, day night, I'm gonna use this other shoe to contrast it, is that because they have this uh, smiley thing here, which is sticking out, you cannot put a heel protector. Um, so you're actually wearing out uh, your heel. Let me see if you can see that here. So this area here is wearing out from use. One thing that I like to do on my shoes is to put these heel uh, protectors. You can find them on Amazon. And these are like a couple of dollars, uh, like $2 uh, for them to replace the top lift, this part here. That's 20 to $25 when you go to the coupler. So I would much rather spend $2 for this and replace them as I need them with just a few nails than to wear out the actual top lift. Uh, but with the uh, with the normal Allen Edmonds uh, top lift, that is very easy to do. But with the day night uh, top lifts, um, that is just not practical. Um, so that, even though I like the soles, I don't like the design that they have. If they didn't have this smiley face here, it'd be easier to put a top lift. I'm sorry, a, a, a heel uh, protector and make these last longer. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention, um, I actually, and this comment is gonna depend on the shape of your foot, obviously. I don't find these uh, to be as comfortable as my other shoes that have the leather lining. So what happens is all the, the, the seams, you, you feel that. And I find that after a full day at the office wearing these shoes, I feel, I feel the seams. Um, and it's not as comfortable on my toes, on the side of my, my foot, as the other Ally Edmonds shoes that are fully lined. Um, if I wear them two, three, four hours, they're very comfortable. If I wear them all day long, uh, it starts chafing. And uh, I find that that is not good for that. Um, that is what I find on my foot. It may feel different on your foot. Uh, so take that uh, comment for what it's worth. Um, the color of these shoes, the boxes that is brown, and this is a very, very interesting uh, design that they have on the Stramux. They're going for like a reverse burnish look. Uh, but it's not that way out of the box. So out of the box, it's this brown color. But what they've done is that they have the, the, the dye that uh, is uh, long lasting is that light brown uh, color that's underneath. And then they have put this uh, dark brown coating on top, which is not as um, long lasting. It's actually designed to wear out. And you can see it, uh, let me get closer to the camera. You can see it uh, wearing out over here. Let me see if I can move the light. There you go. You might see this a little better. It's wearing out over here from the rubbing with your pants and things like that. But then where you actually hit it, it, it just wears out uh, more. And these scuffs, uh, over time, this whole area here is going to wear out and um, give that lighter color. So usually with a burnish, 
the shoe is a light color and then you burnish or make darker the toe and perhaps the heel and that is the burnished look with a reverse uh i'm sorry <laughs> with a reverse burnish basically they're making most of the shoe uh, dark and then there are some areas that are lighter and this is going to get lighter uh, more of these is going to get lighter uh, over time as the user uh, rubs and hits things and that uh, top coat wears out and that is actually what they're going for you can see that here on the eyelets where the area that has more pressure is um, wearing out that kind of worn in uh, look is what they're actually going for and as the shoes age uh, is going to have more and more of that uh, look so that is actually uh, pretty pretty cool if you go on their website um, and look for a reverse burnish you'll see some other uh, styles that have that um other than that i'm not sure what to say there uh, just to summarize they have very very nice uh, quality leather they're 360 degree uh, welted both of these come with the uh, storm welt uh, which is more uh, water resistant uh, you can get them in different uh, type uh, soles this one is day night this one is kind of like a composite uh leather and rubber you can get it a uh, full leather uh, they also have um, a different uh, sole where it has basically just this area here is uh is the rubber and these particular models the new mock and the strand mock are online so that is something to uh, keep in mind uh, they are true to size, uh, however, they do allow you to wear thicker socks than you uh, would with uh, different models uh, because it is online. That's all I had for, for this. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know that I already said uh, goodbye but i figured that i'd show you the look on these shoes uh, with the christmasy shoelaces in case that is uh, something that you want to do with your shoes um, i also wanted to point out another thing that i forgot to say earlier uh, both of these uh, shoes come with these uh, second set of stitches here to keep the tongue in place. So this tongue is not going to be uh, moving left to right. If you find that you have trouble with the tongue on your shoes uh, shifting, uh, both of these um, shoes, you can see here, this second uh, set of stitches right here. From a distance, you don't see it. If you get close to the shoe, you can see it there. Uh, so both of these shoes uh, keep the tongue from moving. That's not going to go anywhere. It's always going to be uh, centered. Um, that is good to keep the, um, the tongue in place. The one thing is it does make uh, lacing these, uh, these two uh, eyelets here a little bit more difficult because you can't move the tongue out of the way. Uh, but that is something that you encounter only when you are first putting the laces on which is going to be like what once every two or three years so that is it again second time thank you <laughs> and uh if you like this video and want to see uh, more videos like this uh click that uh subscribe uh, subscribe button okay thanks bye